A children's book character who threatens to steal Christmas, The Grinch, now has a software namesake that swipes gifts right before your eyes. They're called Grinch bots. This is one of the most frustrating things about buying stuff during this holiday season. People have created computer programs that automatically will go to websites and actually try to buy items as soon as they come in stock. And they are incredibly effective. And of course, because they're computer programs, they're much faster than you and I. Sure experienced Grinch bots firsthand when retailer Target notified him that the Magic Nixie's toy was available. He clicked to buy it online, but wasn't fast enough. The real problem that exists is that some people have taken this to an extreme and they've realized, oh, I could buy a bunch of this stuff and then resell it on Facebook Marketplace, on Craigslist, on eBay for a profit. And in fact, you look and the retail price for PlayStation is not at all even close to what the actual price is. Sure says Grinch bots stem from the world of sneakers, where people have been known to snatch up rare models and resell them at high prices. Some of the toughest items to get are game consoles, especially Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, which are being resold at double their normal price. But there's still hope. Norman Fong just bought a PlayStation 5 for his son at the manufacturer's recommended retail price. Actually, I'm going to surprise him on Christmas, so hopefully he won't be watching this. <laughs> Fong founded the shopping website and mobile app Buyvia, which has stock checkers for specific products at many online stores. This is an extremely big problem for the major e-commerce sites, dealing with bots that repeatedly hit their website looking for items you know, every second or half a second and it saps bandwidth and makes the website slower so users can't just buy regular items. One thing we noticed that that's worked really well for Walmart, they will announce when they will have the consoles, but you needed to join their Walmart Plus program at, I believe, $12.95 a month. Actually, I, I checked it, bought one myself, and confirmed that that did work. U.S. lawmakers have also taken notice. Congress members introduced the Stopping Grinch Bots Act. Congressman Paul Tonko said these bots don't just squeeze customers, they pose a problem for small businesses and local retailers who are trying to ensure they have items in stock for their customers. Some tech experts say this will be a tough battle, for there's nothing inherently illegal about using technology to buy something faster than the other person in line. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.